Good morning, church. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with you entitled "The Resurrection: God's Painful Operation." One Corinthians fifteen and verse fifty-five says, "O death, where is your sting? O Hades, where is your victory?" You know. In a painful operation that God had, law enforcement agents set the bad guy up in order to bring him down. And that's what God did to Satan at the cross. For three days, it seems as though Satan had won. And then Jesus rose from the dead and turned Satan's plan upside down. Colossians 2.15 says that he disarmed or stripped off the spiritual rulers and authorities. He shamed them publicly by his victory over them on the cross. You know, the thing that Satan feared most, the birth of a church with the power to change the world through the gospel had come to pass. He feared most is the church of Jesus Christ that preached the gospel of Jesus' resurrection and turned the world upside down. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 8 says, But the rulers of this world have not understood it. If they had, they would not have crucified our glorious Lord, Jesus Christ. You know, Christ's enemies even tried to stop the truth of the resurrection from getting out. See, in Matthew, let's see in Matthew 28 verses 12 to 15, it says, A meeting where the elders were called, they decided to give the soldiers a large bribe. They told the soldiers, you must say Jesus' disciple came during the night while they were sleeping and they stole his body. If the governor hears about this, we'll stand up for you so you won't get into trouble. So the guards accepted the bribe and said what they were told to say. Now, normally, hatred for a person ends when they die. So why then do some people still hate Jesus? Because the resurrection is the ultimate proof of that He is Lord. Jesus is who He said He is. You know, you cannot be saved unless you believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Romans 10 verses 9 and 10 says, If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and uh, and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. Amen? Do you need to be saved? Come to Jesus right now and receive him into your heart as your God and personal Savior. He rose from the dead so that you and I may have life and life abundantly. If you want to receive Jesus, follow me in this. Lord Jesus, I open my heart to you, accepting you into my heart to be my Lord and personal Savior. I surrender my life to you. Help me, lead me. Bless me in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thank you. You have received Jesus. And when you, if you can, we will appreciate you. Look at our website and send us a direct message. And then we will come in contact with you. Amen. God bless you. And every one of you, brothers and sisters, too. You have a great day, all of you. God bless.